Welcome to pile number one. So, pile number one, you guys chose an angelite stone. This stone is supposed to represent like peace, um, sort of like a softness to expressing yourself vocally. So, I'm feeling an emphasis on the throat chakra during the month of July. You are going to be half having to explain yourself but in a way where it is not attacking others so you are going to be learning how to communicate in a different way that is in regards to basically not fighting or not being aggravated when just explaining yourself just explaining yourself without the intense emotion of needing to be right needing to be the one in control so you're gonna you're going to have to release a lot of that um tension in your voice when you when you speak to people in the month of july so whoa i dropped the stone oh my goodness but yeah it's a really really beautiful stone and I've found that it really does help when you have it in your pocket or just somewhere near to you. You know, it's nice and soft too. And yeah, let's go into your reading, pile number one. So, I pulled many cards this time. I'm going to leave um, oracle cards um, last. And I want to get into the tarot first. So, for the tarot, I pulled for what is your current, uh, what's your present energy, what your current situation is, what is the outcome of that situation, and what will you expect from the month of July, like, like from this situation so I got the high priestess in reverse so to me that's you going into a space of not seeing something correctly I'm feeling more like confusion more confusion in your surroundings because I feel like you're paying attention to one thing in this moment, um, this is a reading for July, so whatever resonates, resonates. Let the rest flow, right? So with the High Priestess card being in reverse, that meaning is someone who is not thinking clearly, someone who is not seeing the whole picture of something and not being... Um, wise with their decisions but i also feel intuitively because i am an intuitive reader um that you are coming out of a time of confusion you are coming out of feeling confused feeling like out of the loop in a way and that's you right now you are going to begin to like feel the fog like lift away from your space and your current situation i pulled the temperance card so could be legal matters um could be um also having to come to terms with your responsibilities like um also into a, a space of learning where you need to take accountability for your actions uh, that's what i'm picking up intuitively the this card generally entails more of a um like things with the law um 
law of nature, the law, like, like maybe you broke a law and that's your current situation. You maybe got a ticket for speeding. You maybe got a ticket for something uh, or you got in trouble with the law. And it could also entail getting in trouble with the law of nature. Maybe you littered and you got a ticket for that. So that's your current situation right now. It's temp The temperance card is upright. So to me, that's... That's you challenging that space, you challenging the law, the order of how things flow, and it's like it kind of woke you up, is what I'm also feeling intuitively. And the outcome of this situation is the Ace of Pentacles, which to me feels like you're going to be okay financially you are going to be paying attention to your finances a lot more during the month of july and it's leading you to a new beginning in your finances maybe it is you once setting things in balance you maybe end up not having to pay that much end up not having to pay the ticket and maybe it's just a warning you can always like go to court and kind of, I forgot what that word is, but is it contested? I don't know, something like that, but you know, we have that choice of doing that and I just feel like you're going to be making better decisions once the situation blows over because the out, like, what you are going to be realizing for the month of July is that things are going to be picking up right after this situation is what I'm feeling intuitively, the Eight of Rods. So that entails like a lot of fast forward movement into one direction. So you are definitely going to be going into a space of understanding your finances a little bit more, focusing all your energy into your pentacles what you have around you and that could also be realizing that you have to be more careful when you are feeling rushed you are going to learn that rushing isn't always the best thing or just to get in trouble just to be be like get caught red-handed right when we feel that adrenaline it's more of a time to like sit down and calmly explain yourself calmly um like come from a space of calm not from a space from um intense emotions yeah because Eight of Rods is fire energy, so just be careful with how you speak to people. Just be careful what you do when you are in a, like, I'm just going to call it like a red hot situation where you are just be, um, like, being dealt with by the universe. It's just a lesson and it's just a moment to help us maybe like get back into the swing of things like oh yeah like I actually need to um save money for that or having us think realistically about our current predicament and the good thing is that you did get the high priestess in reverse which for me intuitively entails that you're gonna be seeing the bigger picture of things once this happens and it's going to lead you to a new beginning of understanding in your finances and you are also going to be moving into a space of being mature i also feel that intuitively as well 
yeah, more of a space of like, this is your month to really um, think about what you're doing. Think about how you're managing your finances. Think about how you're managing your activities throughout your day. We have a lot of energy in us right now in the month of July and we are going to need to learn where to put that energy into. So even though you're feeling rushed, take a moment to breathe, to calm down, because that's when we make mistakes, when we rush into things. So that's your tarot reading for the month of July. Now I'm going to delve into the oracle cards that I pulled. So I pulled the reverence card from the awakening the energy body oracle deck and this is the chakra that's going to be activated for you for the month of july so a mantra this month for you could be i bow with reverence to the divine heart within i bowed with reverence to the divine heart within you can say that to yourself three times and just see how you feel afterwards and also you can meditate with your hands in this position as well this will help cultivate the inner awareness and reduces stress and blood pressure assists prayer and devotion and it's also the anjali mudra yeah, so you're going to be coming into a space of opening your crown chakra, opening your inner wisdom. Yeah, that makes sense with it, with how the tarot reading went. You are going to be gaining a new sense of self, gaining a new sense of understanding about the material things is something I just got. And... Try doing meditations that are more regarded towards the crown chakra, which is right here. And learn how to connect to your inner wisdom. So, this is the chakra that will be activated for you. And your um, guidance for the month, I pulled... The Whispers of Lord Ganesha, and you got Drive, number 14. We also got number 40 right here. And Drive meaning it's time for you to move in the right direction and be aware of where you're going as well. And... And also just be more confident in where you're going on this new journey because you are going into a new space of understanding, especially when it comes to your finances. And there is fast forward movement happening right now. So doors are, op doors are also opening for you. The temperance card is also like it's making me feel that you're going to be entering a new like way of being because of what you've had to deal with and it's going to lead you in the right direction it's going to lead you where you want to go and everything that you need you have with you on this journey see that so that's a good sign the energy that you will be carrying beside you during the month of july I pulled the Animal Spirit Oracle deck, and you got Dragonfly. Magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant. I am blessed. Look at that. And Dragonflies signal a new beginning as well, so that goes perfectly with the reading. And you also got... Yeah, I pulled for what What will July bring about for you? And you got Labyrinth, Lost, Delayed, Complex, Contemplate, 
it's complicated going inward spiritual quest deliberation long way home problem to solve catch 22 the situation to sort out okay yeah it makes sense with kind of like how temperance happened it's kind of something happened and it led you to this space for the month of july and you also got thunderstorm power destruction trouble electric display a warning out of control energy shift conflict triumph over evil fierce booming conflict opportunity to overcome this is how you're going to have to see the situation that plays in july as an opportunity and you're going to have to have that motto of keep moving forward for the month of july that's going to be your motto pile number one keep moving forward no matter what happens see it as a challenge you can overcome and see it as a challenge that you you know that you've been through worse and that you can get through this because you also got in sync is you know spirit de corpse working together as a unit team leadership co-create pooling assets camaraderie gung-ho forming alliances partnership and team effort you're not going to be alone when this whatever happens happens and you are going to be protected in this time you are going to be with those who want the best for you all right pile number one and i also pulled uh what are your messages of love for july and you got give your relationship a chance work on your relationship and you also got separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so when it comes to matters of the heart this is for sure someone for those in relationships and a relationship can mean anything could be friendship with a partner whom you whom you love uh, relationships within family um even co-worker relationships okay uh, maybe they said something that hurt you and you're kind of like whoa didn't know you were that kind of person i'm not gonna talk to you anymore something like that so this could simply be saying that things are going to break away for some of you. And for those of you in regards to love, just give it another chance. This could mean something like maybe you guys just didn't have the time for each other. Maybe you guys didn't have... Uh, more opportunities to hang out and maybe like the fire kind of sizzled out um, which could be friendship or maybe even chemistry like at work or I'm also feeling like maybe you had a, like a group of people that you liked hanging out with but they kind of didn't invite you to certain spaces so you've kind of felt like mm, maybe they're not my kind of crowd but I just feel like you just need to give it another shot. Just be a little bit more honest. And that's all, right? Remember, we you got the Angelite Stone, which is speaking your truth in a peaceful and just speaking your truth out of a space of feeling calm. Also, I'm sorry if you're hearing like plane sounds, but what's going on outside? And yeah. So, I feel like this is your messages for July, pile number one. I hope you guys resonated. And, of course, let's get on to the happy drum meditation. And also cleanse this space, this reading. And I want you guys to close your eyes if you want. And just breathe as I play the happy drum and when I stop just see how you feel okay 
comment below if you like the happy drum. If you guys want me to bring back the singing bowl, let me know. If you guys want me to bring back the angel answers, let me know in the comments. pile number one how do you guys feel let me know in the comments like please like the video if you enjoyed this reading that really helps out small channels like mine to be in the recommendation list on youtube so just simply giving this video a like will help me out and if you enjoyed this reading and you like my channel Please subscribe. I love to provide pick a pile readings and I also like to do timeless pick a pile readings. So check out my channel if you enjoy that. And keep in mind this was a general July predictions. If you would like to book a personal monthly prediction for you, you may do so through my website. You can send me an email and I can accommodate that for you. My website. My socials will all be linked down below in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for sticking this far. And I will see you next time. Bye! Hello and welcome to pile number two. So, pile number two, you guys picked the beautiful citrine crystal. And to me, that feels like you guys are going to be feeling more empowered this month, this uh, month of July. So also you're going to be experiencing a new you, like just a new version of you, like things that you used to do, you're doing them better now. It's kind of like you've learned you've learned a very valuable lesson that you've integrated from your past. So congratulations, pal number two. And I'm also feeling you're gonna be learning, learning in July. Could be in regards to taking more classes, so like school, or maybe you're just watching a lot of informative videos on YouTube also reading yeah you're gonna be in a space of really feeding the solar plexus like your creativity it's gonna flow a lot more smoother for the month of july so that's what i picked up intuitively from the crystal you guys picked and i did pull oracle cards but i'm going to leave those for the end of the tarot reading so let me just have them all laid out and i will be showing you the cards as well okay so guys your current oh okay yes yeah, so your current energy i pulled the Three of Swords upright, and um, I do want to say quickly, I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. All, my, all the cards, the decks that I will be using for this video will be linked down below in the description box. Just want to add that. But, um, Three of Swords, so you're feeling betrayed, you're feeling, um, you're you're not feeling the best right now 
pile number two. And I want to say it's, it could be that you feel like something, something happened in your current space that kind of led you to believe that you couldn't do anything you wanted or it kind of left you feeling small is what I'm going to call it. It left you feeling small and you aren't sure how to go about how you're feeling right now. You're understanding your feelings, but like with the card right here, there's no person here in the Three of Swords. It's like they left. It's like they they let their anger out in their journal. They wrote whatever, then they just left the ink there to spill because they left quickly and they refused these box of chocolates. So it could be someone trying to win you over with things that you don't even care about, with things that don't mean anything to you. And you're not feeling it. You're really not feeling it. Your current situation is the Knight of Pentacles. Alright, so this could be you, this could be someone else, but your current situation is an energy of movement, but it's it's like it's like slow movement because look at this this person is on this broomstick and for some reason they're not flying it seems like they're just walking on this broomstick so they're just taking their time and they do have their eyes on the prize right right they do know where they're going where they want to go but it seems like they haven't yet realized how to do it in a like in a quick way in a you haven't realized how to flow with this feeling and because it's pentacles i do want to feel that it's like material also as well that could be playing in your in your situation just that you have this feeling inside of you, which is causing this in your current situation, which is not thinking clearly, because I feel like if you were thinking correctly, you would know that you could fly on this broomstick and you could get to where you want to go very quickly, but you are allowing yourself to let this conversation, let this uh, truth that you learned hit you really badly and it's like you want to disappear it's like you don't want to deal with it and it's leading you to manifest your things um, more slowly than you'd like it's kind of like a slow block and you also got the hierophant in reverse which is also like when it's upright, it's someone who's meditating. When it's reversed, the card basically says that you're falling out of balance. You're not meditating correctly. Not meditating correctly, like, you know, you're not doing it right. Blah, blah, blah. Not, not that. You just aren't, um, like, thinking about the pros and cons. You're not thinking about, um... Or you're not putting these feelings in this kind of space, which is like <clears throat> integrating your, your emotions, integrating how you feel honestly, right? So you're, it's like you're refusing to let yourself feel this, and it's what's causing this, because this these both came out together as your current situation. So yeah, that made sense with why I pulled this too, that you feel like you don't want to be here, but it happened. And you aren't passing, you're not learning this lesson, um, I don't want to say like you're not doing it the right way. I'm just saying you are the one that's making this drag on. 
than it needs to, is what I feel. And your, your outcome of this is the Three of Cups in reverse with the Five of Cups upright. So, the outcome is it's very interesting because Three of Cups are, are, is people having a party and then the Five of Cups is no one showing up to your party. Knowing no one showing up to celebrate you and that really hurt you. And I feel like this could have been with close a close friend, um, even a relationship that just fell through with people and you didn't see it coming. But I do get a sense that the outcome of this is you realizing that it's okay to let those cups spill and you still have all of that for you in that party so you can still celebrate you you don't need a a group of people or someone constantly trying to fill your cup and the, i like that it, the five of cups is upright because yes you're going through that heavy emotion of feeling alone feeling um that these people um did something against you or you feel like they just weren't being honest they weren't being like their their true selves but you're allowing yourself to feel this and you're allowing yourself to integrate the emotion which i think is a really good thing because after you kind of release the truth and you release the truth to you that's when you're ready to expand that's when you're ready to grow and that's how we learn lessons we just have to experience so the oracle card that i got for you is confidence it comes with time and practice you're going on a new path that's you could have an earth earth energy in your chart but this is your divine guidance for this month is confidence it takes it, it comes with time and practice is what the message is for you <clears throat> but that means that for the month of july <clears throat> oh sorry dry throat <clears throat> but for the month of july your mission is to build your confidence back up learn to be you again and just learn to so the energy that you are going to be carrying beside you for the month of july pile number two is this beauty right here snow leopard self-reliance you are strongly independent and often solitary Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. It's time for you to go on a solo journey. It's time for you to learn that you have what it takes in you to do anything you want. So that's a powerful message. I'm going to drink some more water. And... What you can expect for the month of July, pile number two. Scuba diver, going within, observation, zero point, self-examination, exploring the unconscious mind, in the void, desire to know, self-reflection, disconnecting deep thoughts, subliminal. You're going to be going through a... <clears throat> new understanding of yourself when this situation happens and you got chocolate which i thought is cute satisfaction perfection love romance treating yourself sweet rich smooth splurge aphrodisiac the good stuff 
fine dining, do things right, celebration, elevated mood. And 50-50, at this time, things could go either way. So, pile number two, this could be you also telling these people how they made you feel. Or just explaining yourself to others and just being confident and don't just think that it's just because it's you it doesn't matter because it does because they hurt your feelings or just things were said that that made you hurt so either way you could come out of this you will come out of this stronger because you can either collect yourself when this happens and move forward in a space where all you need is you where you learn to be more independent with yourself or you can gain more out of this by being firm and confident with explaining yourself to those that did you wrong and why why do you want to do that you know it's because it'll help make you speak confidently as well and that's something that you might need along the way on this new journey of like learning about a new you so don't forget that while you are in your own space and learning to acknowledge your feelings don't forget to spoil yourself don't forget that you are worth like don't forget that you are worth more than you think. It's time for you to, like, buy yourself something that you've been really wanting. I feel like you haven't given yourself an opportunity to, like, be open and expand your horizons and learn new things, you know? Like, that's kind of, like, what the point of life is, you know? It's, it's, it's constantly learning. You, you don't want to... <clears throat> you don't want to just be set in your ways you want to constantly be challenging your thoughts and your ways because that just makes us more wise and I think having constant growth is beneficial you know it's it's something that evolves us and you don't want to be the same person that, that like you don't want to be in the same like thinking space that you were in your 20s when you're in your 50s you know that kind of shows that you really had no growth at all and you really had no self-reflection at all about your actions if you're still the same person that thinks the same way as someone who was in their 20s that's that's for sure a message for someone out there and because of the way it came out but um i also pulled awakening the energy body deck and this is the chakra that's going to be activated for you in the month of july pile number two so number 19 commitment shiva linga mudra and the mantra for you for this month is i align awareness focus and commitment excuse me i just burped i align awareness focus and commitment and you can use that hand position to meditate and breathe and think of the color yellow you're going to be going into a new commitment during the month of july and that's going to be to your solar plexus I definitely feel it's for the solar plexus, which is, which makes sense with the citrine crystal because it's all about like the inner you, your inner creative, beautiful you. You're going to be going on, on a new journey of commitment with saying yes, just because, just, just because it'll invite a new understanding to your space. So... 
I also pulled um, from the Romance Angel deck, uh, Messages of Love for July, and you've got Romantic Feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And Healing Family Issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, this is for sure two messages in like separate for individuals. It's like there are going to be those of you in July who are going to be healing, having some inner child healing. Maybe you are, are seeing like a therapist or venting to someone you trust. And it could be allowing you to form a new line of communication with those that you feel are family, that those that you connect with. There's going to be new, new buildings of trust, new forms of communication between you and your loved ones during the month of July. And for others of you, I feel like there's going to be someone coming in during the month of July and they're going to feel the same way that you do. And this is for someone, these, these, this message is for those who are single, first off. So it seems like you both feel the same way about each other. And during the month of July, it's going to be shown or it's finally going to be expressed like maybe they're going to send you a message or go come up to you and talk to you about how they feel about you and you guys could be hitting it off for the july for for the month of july so yeah i am now going to be going into the happy drum meditation I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I hope you resonated. Let me know in the comments with a heart if you resonated. And like the video if you resonated as well. And stick around for the meditation. Just close your eyes and breathe as you hear some funky tunes. you guys enjoyed the happy drum meditation let me know if you guys like this or the singing bowl so that i can incorporate both of them and please like this video if you enjoyed this reading it helps boost small channels like mine onto the recommendation list so that helps a whole lot and if you enjoy my content here on this video, go explore my channel where I like to provide uh, more Pick a Pile readings and most of them are timeless. So check that out, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date for future videos. And keep in mind that this was a general reading. If you'd like to book a monthly prediction personal reading, you can send me a message through my website and I can accommodate that for you. And all of that will be linked down below in the description box. Also, my socials, like where you can find me, Instagram, Twitter, things like that, will be linked down below. I like to post daily readings, so those are also fun. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!
Hello and welcome to pile number three. So, pile number three, you guys chose the fool's gold right here. And I feel like you guys are going to be running into fortune. That's like the first thing I heard. Fortune in July. Good luck. Because you guys were cautious is something else I just picked up and basically the month of July you are going to be protected and while you, because of the universe setting things in motion for you and you just going with the flow and following your intuition it's like you're going to be rewarded for that so Congratulations, pal number three. You guys successfully, I also want to say, like, finished a cycle. A cycle that I feel like was a long one. And it, I also, like, another thing that I felt was, it felt like a heavy battle. So because of you closing out this cycle, the way that it was supposed to go, you're being rewarded. So... That's really good. Let's go into your pile. So I did pull several oracle cards and I will show those at the end. And also, let's see, I pulled messages of love. So that's gonna be fun. And yeah, let's do this. So. Your current situation is the lovers. So you're doing something that you love. Um, this is not, sorry, I meant your current energy. That's what I meant. This is your current energy. You are doing something you love. You're, you're, you're like giving something and being open to receiving that love back. You are understanding the modality of things, the give and take, the... And it's like, it's coming very easy for you, is also something else that I feel. Just notice this is like tree trunk, it kind of looks like this one in the back. It's, it's really cool. So, your current situation is the hermit in reverse, and that's me kind of feeling that you are having a little difficulty coming out of this space of feeling safe or you don't want to take a risk is something i just felt intuitively the hermit upright is someone who goes into a journey into themselves and it's it's like a time of learning your true self but because it's in reverse i just feel like you don't want to come out of that so or you also just feel like you don't know when to come out of that space and that's the current situation for you and the outcome is weaver of boons so to me, that's coming into a space of manifestation. So once you acclimate to coming out of this seclusion that you've kind of made for yourself because you've been taking care of things, you've been nurturing things that you love, that's when you are going to be manifesting and creating a space that feels more like home, a space that feels more like, I just felt like saying love, a space of more love, a space of, yeah, feeling, feeling like you've created a stable situation for yourself. And another card that came out for the outcome or I'm sorry, this was the what to expect for July was 
the Enchanter is Leo, so that's really interesting in itself that, like with what I said with the Fool's Gold, you entered this new cycle, this new wave of being, and it's from you following your intuition, you following what feels right for you. That's why your current energy was the lovers. That's a really good energy to have. And the lovers upright is someone who's going with the flow of things and how things go about. Also, birds could be messengers for you at this time, like tiny little finch birds. Because I see them here, and I also see them in an oracle card of yours. So that's the tarot reading. You guys have entered this new cycle that you've built for yourself. You've come a long way. You took some time for creating this space for yourself, maybe even like moving to a new home, a place that feels like a home. And that could be energetically too, where maybe in your home you didn't know how to make it feel homey, but maybe you kind of felt like, you know what, if I'm going to be staying here, I'm going to change it up. So maybe you're going to be adding more plants to your living room, even though you sometimes don't go there, even though it's your living room. Like, just go there. That's your, your you're living in your space. Like, stop secluding yourself just in your bedroom. That's a message for someone for sure. And it's a beautiful cycle that you're entering because I got, like, this is the message for what to expect for the July. It's, um, so this is what you can expect. At this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. So that's amazing. That's like a confirmation that, yes, you're going on a new journey and you're doing it with fun. You're doing it with openness. You're going with the flow. And you also got birdcage, possessive, codependent, cling, restless. So what's interesting to me is that this, I, this is like the first time I'm really using this deck, the Zodiac, like in a big reading. And this card came up in reverse and I thought, okay, I'll take it. And to me, that's you leaving this tiny cage that I feel like you've kind of made in your mind. You caged yourself up. And since it's, since it's in reverse, you are expanding and leaving that caged feeling. And you also got autumn, full moon, the queen, within six to nine months is an outcome for you. So this could be your manifestation. Oh my God. So with you taking your time, and coming out of this space of seclusion, of meditation, of manifestation, and this is your outcome, I feel like this could be telling you that sometime in autumn is when you are going to move or when you are going to find a new space that feels so much like home, that makes you feel super comfortable and cozy. Like this, these both ladies here give me like, Cottage core vibes. Like, you're gonna be out in the wild. You're going to be experiencing a new, like, calmness in the outside. Is also another message I got. So, keep manifesting on the full moon is another message that I'm getting. And the chakra that's being activated for you guys is the solar plexus chakra. So, I feel like pile number three, you guys could probably resonate to pile number two because they also got a solar plexus chakra card. So, check that out as well. And yes, meditate to the color yellow. This will give you more qualities of determination, vitality, and you, you will gain a new sense of like being more conscious of, I'm going to do this because I feel like it. And you're going to be 
expressing yourself easily and by you doing that it's like you signaling to the divine that like i'm on the right track i'm not going to falter i know where i'm going and you're going to be very very confident coming out of this and the energy that's going to be beside you for the month of july is bison abundance okay abundance and this reads sacred buffalo cloak me in your wisdom keep me warm through the storms of life fill my life with goodness teach me the way of gratitude and prayer that's you in like embodying the energy of endurance because of your endurance in the impossible because of the perseverance and the challenges that you faced you came out of this feeling more wise and being wise is also another message and i feel like after after what you've been through pile number three and you will know what i'm talking about you feel like you've gained a new sense of self like a new sense of purpose like you're realizing that you can control your surroundings in a way that you don't even need like literal control like as long as you stick to your true essence and as long as you stick to your schedule which is following your heart and and following your intentions and your with with like being conscious with your intentions it's like with you doing those things it brings those rewards and you are going to be learning that and that's how you are going to gain this new ability of being more grounded with yourself and i also want to say like being set in your ways but also not in a stubborn way but just being more wise and it's because of you being wise that makes you make these decisions correctly and i did pull messages of love and you guys got worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so you guys could be manifesting like um, a companion it doesn't necessarily have to be romance it could be you trying to manifest a new friendship or um something came into my mind right now like apprenticeship you could be manifesting that as well and yes that could that definitely could tie with matters of work and you also got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so you, you also could be <clears throat> planning a journey for in july or going on a journey in july and it's all from following your angels that's for sure angels in both these cards and it's also you following um I wanted to say the will of God. So that's got a that's a message for someone too. Like you just following your truth with what you believe in is what allows <clears throat> this new way of being for you. That's a message for someone specific. So that's going to be someone out there and remain happy during this time for the month of july also and just be content on the journey just enjoy the journey on this on this new you so that's that's a really good message pal number three and your guidance for the month of july is be without malice okay definitely definitely just the universe saying to you hey be in control of your emotions and do not allow 
those dark and negative thoughts to come back into your space. That's all you need to do. I, I really feel like that's all you need to do in order to allow all this beautiful growth that this reading is like basically just saying that you're going to be going through beautiful growth, new cycle of things that you want, things that you've manifested for, worked hard for, accomplished for. But all you need to do is to maintain the, the sense of peace is what I just heard. Maintain the sense of peace. Don't fall into like like um, petty squabbles is something else that I just got right now. Don't fall into people being jealous of you. Don't fall into that. Just stick to you. Just be like, oh, okay, that's what they're doing. Okay. Like just just let let people be where they are at. Let people experience what they are experiencing. If they want to be cruel, let them experience that. You don't need to involve yourself in that. And I definitely feel like that's your message, pile number three. You got a very straightforward reading. And I definitely felt like you know you knew that too that you were going into something new yet that you were going in, on to a new beginning so this is just like extra confirmation for you pile number two and now let's get into the happy drum meditation so as I am playing this just breathe close your eyes and see how you feel after you guys enjoyed the happy drum meditation let me know if you guys prefer this one or the singing bowl one in the comments below and just let me know if i should incorporate the singing bowl into the readings i've been kind of wondering about that and if you enjoyed the reading please make sure to give this video a like that really helps boost small channels like mine get onto the like recommendations feed on youtube and yeah that just really helps my channel also if you enjoyed this reading make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell to stay up to date for future videos and check out my channel i do lots of pick a bowel readings and some of them are timeless so yeah keep in mind this was a general july predictions reading if you'd like to book a personal july predictions reading you may do so through my website just send me an email and i'll accommodate that for you and that will be linked down below in the description box also check out my socials those will also be linked down below and give me a follow i like to post daily messages energy readings and those are really fun too so i hope you guys enjoyed this Thank you so much for watching and staying this far, and I'll see you next time. Bye!